Now you say in the chapter about, about the multiverse that every fiction that does not violate the laws of physics is fact. Why is that the case? That is the case because physical objects do not have a sharp positions. Uh, that is, when I say sharp, I mean, uh, sharp means in this terminology, the same in all universes. So uh, the laws of physics, the laws of quantum physics require that uh, th there is no such thing as a completely sharp position of a particle or of a person. And no such thing as a completely sharp configuration of a person or of their thoughts. And so there are always a few universes doing maverick things. When I say a few, I really mean a tiny number, like two to the minus two to the power of a hundred or something of, of the really maverick ones. But still, that's not zero. So th this doesn't affect things like decisions. It, it, it doesn't affect what we should do when, when we're betting on, on uh, um, poker games or, or horse races. But it does mean that if you're talking about existence, very strange things exist somewhere in the multiverse. Uh, now, having stressed that point, let, let me just um, claw that back a little in regard to the brain and in regard to thinking. Because thinking is an error correction process. And there are errors arising constantly in, in the brain, glitches, electrical glitches and also glitches due to a uh, failed uh, temporary failed understanding where we where, which we later correct either by purely hardware methods where we you know the neurons the majority of neurons are saying that the minority are wrong and because we we recognize errors and so the number of the, the proportion of universes in which our brain does something maverick are exponentially smaller again because error correction is exponentially efficient. So, and, and by the way, that, that is true whether we are classical computers or quantum computers. So really for all practical purposes, um, the, the existence of maverick versions of ourselves are, is, is negligible. But they are there, and that's why I said that they are there. In other words, um, uh, 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 all stories that do not violate the laws of physics um, happen somewhere. But uh, the ones that do violate the laws of physics uh, don't happen because they uh, are uniform. They're, they're universal. They're, they're uniform across the multiverse. So, I mean, this is fascinating because it does mean that every... Every book you've read, every movie you've seen, if the plot doesn't violate the laws of physics, it really has happened or it does currently happen somewhere in the multiverse, except it's not a movie. <laughs> it's real. Yes. The error correction idea applies there too, uh, not just in the brain, but in, in, in a book or movie. Um, if the book, let's say, is about someone doing magic like Harry Potter or something, then although it can't happen that real magic occurs in, in these uh, maverick universes, uh, by the way, the term maverick universes, I think, was invented by Bryce DeWitt, my, my former boss in the University of Texas. It just seems to have happened because something isn't really levitating. It's just that the atoms in the room happen to strike the, the uh, apparently levitating object in just the right ways to keep it levitating. Thing is, those, those universes aren't really universes because the very next thing that will happen in the vast majority of those is that the levitated object will fall to the ground. And that is because the apparent explanation of what was holding it up, namely magic, isn't true what was holding it up was just accident. If, if you think that a, uh, something deserves to be called a universe or a universe in which a particular story happens, if, if you think that that only deserves to be called that if the story can, if the explanations in the story are true in that universe, 
then these Harry Potter type universes aren't universes at all. They, they are just uh, wannabe universes. They're, they're just bits of the multiverse. We know anyway that, that uh, there are many bits of the multiverse that aren't universes. Universes are large scale structures in the multiverse. But there's plenty happening there that, that it can't be thought of as universes. So the, the Harry Potter ones are among those too.